Good morning everyone! Welcome back to 2022 actually because this is not going to go live until the new year. Well are you nude? Can you shut the door then? So starting another renovation vlog today and boy are we getting into it. We are officially painting this room. I'm so excited. I have spent the last few days asking you guys on Instagram, showing you swatches and also just, you know, me and Alex observing our own wall. Um, deciding between like five different white paint colors. <laughs> Because when they tell you that a white paint is not just a white paint, they are not lying, especially someone as particular as me. We're mainly just focusing on choosing the right one for this room. Um, we're still deciding on what we'd use in the lounge because every paint can look a bit different in different rooms. So we, we're not trying to like necessarily pick something that'll go through the whole house. Although I do think the one that we've decided on for this room actually could look really nice throughout the whole space. So it might just be easier since I'm probably going to try and buy a 10 litre tub of it today. It's quite an expensive paint, which was so typical like when we were looking at them and I got Alex to pick it out blind, like I didn't tell him which one was which. I just put the swatches on the wall. We did double coats and let them dry and then I let him look at them and he picked out the one that I originally thought he quite liked and he also liked the really bougie one. And then when we compared it with the green that we're using on the wardrobe doors, um, he was like, oh, you know, I like that one better and yeah, most expensive white out of the lot, but that's okay. Sitting here at my new little makeup vanity, if you missed my flip of this on my home Instagram, Anna Abode, definitely go check it out because it was quite, quite a fun little project. The only thing is that the lighting from this side of the room is like not the best. I have to have like a little extra light up mirror because otherwise you get that. <laughs> Um, so I put a little extra light up mirror there just to kind of like balance my face a bit and it makes the lighting better. It would be best for this little makeup vanity to be right under the window but that is where we have to put the bed because there's not a lot of space to put it like facing here to get into the wardrobes and I knew that would like annoy me so much not being able to like access our clothes easily. So first step, yeah, I need to go to the trade center and buy all the paint and the supplies for actually painting. We have quite a lot of things already, like we've got paint trays, we've got rollers, we just need to get some actual like the fluffy bit that goes on the roller. And then when I get back we're gonna move all the furniture out. We're gonna sleep tonight in the office. Um, we should just have to have one night in there depending on how smelly it is <laughs> from the paint tomorrow because I suspect we'll only get through one coat today just because we've been a bit bit slow off the mark this morning. So I suspect we'll do one coat today. We've got a dinner with um, family tonight, like a Christmas thing. And then we can do the second coat tomorrow morning, which will be nice, we can get up early and just get it done. And that way we might be able to move our stuff in later that night, or otherwise we can do that on Christmas Eve. Because it's currently the 22nd of December. So we've got three days to do some reno stuff until Christmas. All right, so there are the swatches that we did yesterday. We did them in the afternoon, so we had a chance to see them in the afternoon light as well as the like nighttime light, like completely artificial lighting. And then this is morning light, and yeah, our two favorites were definitely the outer two, but I think we want to go with number five. It's a little bit softer, obviously, number one's like very snowy white. It does have a tiny bit of warmth in it though, so what we noticed is that in the artificial light at night, it looked maybe a little yellow. Whereas this has a touch of like a sort of beigey, sort of brownie undertone to it, which helps it to not look too yellow, but it's still quite a warm white. So that's the one we're gonna go for. It's just got a beautiful softness to it that's really nice. And that is a paper swatch of the color that's gonna go on the wardrobes. So it's a really beautiful kind of olivey green. Um, and we felt like that one looked nicest with number five as well. I'm seriously though so excited about this green shade. It is beautiful. All right, all ready to go. We will move this drop sheet around as we go because we do not have enough of this sticky stuff. But yeah, goodbye blue walls. I will not miss you. Like what? Like don't push too hard or the pan goes everywhere. <laughs> 
exciting news is that we are likely to be changing our carpets next month or within two months or so, which is cool. So I don't have to look after them too hard, but you know. we said the guy come around today, finalise the quote, which is good. I'm so excited. New lip paint, new carpets. She'll feel like a new woman. I will. Wee! I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. What's hilarious is our neighbours are painted. Right. I feel like yeah. judging my I technique. <laughs> judging my technique the whole time. Good morning. So day two of painting we've done one coat of the ceiling one coat of the walls we can do it that way because we're using the same kind of color on the ceiling and the walls but we haven't done any of the trim so our plan today is to do a second coat on the ceiling and walls and then finish with the trim it is about 8 30 i've already been to the supermarket and got all our groceries for christmas because it's in two days and i was like i better get in early before all the good strawberries have gone and things like that so i was there just after seven o'clock Got that done and then having some coffee now and then i'm going to get underway all right so if you're not painting your trim the same color as the walls you might want to use tape but but we are <laughs> we've finished two coats in here and two coats on ceiling and i've mm. done one coat of nearly all of the trim oh except for skirtings looking very fresh i hate skirtings <sighs> i'm going to get all the painting done today even if i'm in here doing the skirtings tonight because i want to move in tomorrow you must yeah. Must move in tomorrow. So then we have Christmas Day to chill. So it's good. All right, bedrooms all done. Very exciting. We're at the ripping up the masking tape stage. Here we go. Oh, looks so much better. And I feel like it actually makes the wallpaper look really nice. Like mm. I actually really like it now. So if I look from this room through to that room, the difference is now very obvious to me. Oh yes, there you go. There's a blue room and then. A white room. White room, yeah. Look at it. Thanks for convincing me to keep the wallpaper. It's right. much less effort and it's much actually better. quite pretty. What <laughs> I thought so. Your whole like, it's an original feature. I was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> but now we get to do the very satisfying thing of peeling off the masking tape. Oh, yes. All I want for Christmas is doors. I do. I do. I literally told Alex, I'm like, don't buy me presents, just let me renovate. Very happy. Unless, like, the Christmas present's going to be something renovation-y, because that would be cute. But... A chair. No, wait, I'm sorry, I shouldn't tease. No chair. Never. <laughs> That'd be a really great gift. <laughs> That's a real, a real challenge hiding it. <laughs> it's a nap. It's a nap. Ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> you don't know the saga of the chair, so I've had my eye on this really cool hanging, like rattan chair for the lounge, for one of the corners. It's quite and, large. Um, it's not like overly large. It's an occasional chair. <sighs> well. It's another chair so that you know you can have a couple of people on the couch and then like if you know guests come you can kind of sit around it a bit more. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Alex is like oh, I want that's... a full time chair. <laughs> it will be so comfortable. The one I want is really good quality, and you fill it with like sheepskins and a couple of cushions, and it's like a nice little sunny reading nook. Oh, gorgeous! You don't read. I do read! Excuse me, not as much as you, but I read. Rude. Rude. I didn't know you could read. Action shot. Go. Like ripping up the carpet, Ron. It's actually giving a carpet a little clean. Look at that. It is. It's like a, a silly wax. Yeah. Oh! Alright, how do we do? How much paint is on the carpet? <laughs> why you do your carpets or floors last, people. Oh. No pretty good. Any little blue spots left over? No. Oh, we did well. <laughs> I 
So as I said before, we are going to change the carpets. It'd probably be in about a month, it could be two months. We're just trying to work out a date because obviously we're just about to head into the festive season and there's a lot of shutdown over that time. But the cover we've chosen is a very beautiful cream loop pile carpet, which I know everyone's going to be like, you have a pet, but she's not one to like scratch at the floor. Um, and we do keep her nails short. And the guy said that carpet is more not suitable for like cats. Um, or dogs that just are really intense players, but she's not. She's a pretty chill dog um, and doesn't really get like intense zoomies or she's not rough player. So the guy was like, she'll be absolutely fine. We even got her on the swatch card to like scrape at it and just like see what she'd be like and she seemed fine. The couple I've chosen is also 100% wool, which I was really passionate about getting because wool carpets are very like luxurious and warm and just they're an actual investment in a house. So very thrilled it's gonna just change the whole look especially with the new like off-white walls and the light carpets it's just gonna feel so airy and beachy and delicious I'm very excited so we just put put up our curtain track and now I'm going to put up our shears finally I've waited like months joy I'm very excited <laughs> hope they look good all right obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you this very well because the lighting's gonna go crazy but the shears are up <laughs> it's just like that glue <laughs> oh big stretch eh bye okay so here we go this is what the bedroom is looking like up 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 you go good girl lie down good girl little model showing off our bedroom it's looking pretty good I'm so happy with the wall colour. It's just going to look white on camera, but there is a difference, isn't there, darling, in real life? There's just... just me or Freya? Both of you? <laughs> <laughs> There's just like, yeah, it's just very soft. It feels lovely. Especially with the warm, like, artificial lighting. I actually loved it a lot under the artificial lights. That's kind of why mm. I chose it in the end. Um, so we've moved our furniture back in. We've got yeah, this headboard project. It's still it's still in the making. So it's literally just a piece of like MDF board at this point. But we're gonna finish that after I Christmas. No. <laughs> well, it, it gives a vibe, but it is absolutely not finished, darling. I have so many great See. plans for it. What's the matter? Oh, oh don't start that. Oh, no. Don't start that. Oh no, no. no. you're winding her up. Oh. You're such a pretty doggo. Oh, we love you. Who's still a bit wet. Yeah, we had to give her a bath. She had a poopy butt. <laughs> Princess poopy butt. Princess poopy butt. Um, I have to tell that story. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. But um, So she ran in here. We just put up the sheer curtains. We hadn't moved the furniture back in. Um, and she had just done a really gross poo outside. <laughs> And ran in and like sat on the edge of one of them so it actually got it got poo on the curtain and I was just like good stuff but um, it's okay because I noticed it immediately I cleaned it very thoroughly used some of the dog odor stuff that we have on it and then we gave her a shower because she needed it but that was fun so didn't didn't film that did we thought I would just show you a little bit of an update on the doors so I've done a little layer of this like primer undercoat stuff it's meant to kind of help block some of the dark stain and um, we gave them a little sand back but just enough to kind of give it a bit of a key and then did this primer for some reason the little um, the cupboards came up a lot more opaque than this I'm not 100% sure maybe my brush was a bit too wet but it um it's going to be fine, it's just to give it something for the actual paint that's going on top to kind of stick to. Good morning everyone. So it is Boxing Day today. We had a lovely day off yesterday for Christmas, which was great. Had some family round for a late, very late lunch. It was like a 4pm lunch. We had a barbecue and then we had really nice pavlova and strawberry pudding for dessert. Very classic Kiwi Christmas. It's just been such a dream sleeping in our bedroom the last two nights. Like we keep walking in and I'm like, wow, it just looks so different. So happy with it. I also got up early and bought our new bedding online because I knew there'd be Boxing Day sales. So I've been holding out. <laughs> so I bought an olive striped linen duvet cover set. 
and some white linen sheets. I really wanted to go for linen. I feel like it's really relaxed and kind of beachy vibes. I think it'll pair better with the sort of textured wallpaper than the textured kind of duvet cover we currently have and that's going to then become our guest bedding because um, we don't currently have a guest duvet so I thought it was worthwhile investing while there are sales on I got 30% off so it's pretty good so tomorrow we're actually going to start painting this space the living areas it's gonna be a big job because we have the living room those sort of little parts of the kitchen that are wall there's a lot of cabinetry so it's not actually that much paint there but there'll be a lot of prep work a lot of taping and just stuff like that the wee dining nook of course and the hallway so it's actually quite a big space but i really really want to get it done sort of before new year's and then we will have to paint the office before we get our new carpets in um, I don't know if I mentioned I think pretty sure I mentioned but we're getting new carpets um, brought in a more sort of like sandy natural looking kind of texture textured carpet it's gonna be so nice it's gonna help for that nice beachy vibes um, rather than this very mottled gray so I'm really excited about that it should be about mid Jan that they are happening so we're actually gonna to have to paint the second bedroom the office before then because it's so much smarter to do your walls first and then do your flooring because of the um, obvious reasons that like if you've got paint on your floors your brand new floors you would be gutted I'm really excited that we're at the stage now where we're seeing like dramatic change in the place because it's been a lot of just like little small furniture things or like a lot of planning and just like picking up supplies for this sort of part and now it's like we're actually putting paint on the walls and we're gonna get our floors changed and the curtains are going up actually that's something I have to do I have to order curtains for the lounge and a curtain rail because our rail I'm doing a whole wall of curtains in here as well and it's a really long room that's fun ah I'm having such a good time so I've already gone on to painting these cabinets before it gets too late in the day Alrighty, one coat done on these. We're gonna let them dry. Do another coat later. I love this thing. Alex has a cool new toy. What's it called? I don't know, but it basically makes edging way easier, doesn't it? So easy. <laughs> Who needs to be skilled? Not me. Well, I don't know if I would accept that handiwork if we were doing a different colour. No, well, it's yeah, but we're not, so it's fine. Yeah, I know. But today we're doing the lounge painting and the hallway because that way we can kind of cordon this area off for Freya. She's currently outside, which is really sad. She's just like, it's pouring rain. She's like sitting, it was a very rainy day. She's a finished dog. I feel bad. Um, but that way we can also then move all our furniture, which is currently like in the office, back into the lounge and actually have the space. And then we'll do this half. So like dining nook, kitchen, um, and the hall and the entryway, which is quite fiddly work. This is a nice big walls, big ceiling, you know, but tomorrow's the day after, tomorrow and the day after are going to be kind of like really hard out because they're fiddly. Doesn't look much different. <laughs> it does in real life. <laughs> There's still so much blue tape around the room. I feel like it's making it look blue. Um, so we finished the lounge. Very excited. I'm going to peel off the tape this evening. We've just had dinner. And I just went and picked up Freya. She went fish and chips on the floor. Yeah, right. literally fish and chips on the floor. And when picked up Freya, she had a wee play date at another Finky's house this afternoon, which was really nice because she was getting a bit bored in the backyard. We can tell because we're new holes dug. And, yeah. In our lawn. Much deeper. So she's been having a good dig out there. She's been getting a wee bit bored, um, which was breaking my heart. So I was like, "You've got to go off and have a play date somewhere while we finish the trim and then be able to." Let her back in. Yeah, and just not feel like we're ignoring her so much. So she's much happier. Come on. Good girl, that's So yeah, there are our nice walls looking pretty good. So we've done the living room, we've done the hallway, we've done the bedroom. Tonight we're gonna start prepping or out carry on prepping, because Alex has started prepping wow. the kitchen. So we're gonna do dining nook and so like all of this paint. And around there and in the kitchen we're gonna do that tonight and tomorrow and obviously finish the ceiling as well carry that through that's the plan of attack gotta now move everything that's in that area into here so if you show off that corner between the hallway and the kitchen oh yeah you can see the difference between the beautiful like cream and the blue not cream it's like a, it's an off-white yeah. oh, right, my huh? beautiful color shade blue Alright, time for a little update. I realise it's been a few days. <laughs> so
So the room is all painted, the lounge, we did the kitchen and dining and that the other day. It still looks quite blue on camera, but it is not in real life. It's, very it's white. a nice white. And in the evening or if it's like overcast, it looks really beautiful and warm. I think it's just the blue of the sky kind of reflects in and it obviously looks a bit, a bit bluey. But anyway, so we've moved um, a couch and stuff all back in. And today we are putting up the curtains. In the TV. Yeah, well, TV's I was getting done. there. <laughs> um, we're putting up a wall of curtains on the sort of, in, like we've got a ranch slider. So we're covering all of that in a wall of shears, but behind them a, an opaque layer as well. Mainly because we have this TV that is new. We had to get a new one because we needed something quite thin. You just had to. <laughs> No well, our old one was a bit chonky um, and a bit heavy for the wall and just would have stuck out a bit. So yeah, the curtains are going to go all the way across the room and they'll cover the TV when it's not in use. And then when we want to use it, we'll be able to pull the curtains back like a movie theatre and reveal the TV. And it's on one of those swivelling kind of wall mounts so that we can pull it out and sit on our big couch, push the ottoman in, make it a day bed and watch movies. So. Thank you. 